Um, yeah. Okay. So not to me. Uh, it's an extension of what we did last week. So basically, we'll be going over um, shooting projectiles. Uh, this time, we'll be using uh, ray casting. Uh, so we're going to go through the ray casting and then uh, doing some triggers and collisions, uh, and then uh, resetting some some stuff when we press a certain button. Um, again, using uh, triggers and collisions. So um, let's get started by opening Unity Hub. Uh, let's open Unity Hub and then let's uh, make a new project. So this project, uh, make sure it's 3D. And then uh, the name of the project, let's call it um, Collisions and Triggers. Sorry, I just joined. Yeah, we just, we, uh, we, I just started. Okay. So just open up Unity Hub, make sure it's 3D, and then make a new project. Uh, what do we name it? Uh, I called it Collisions and Triggers. You can call it Project 4 if you want, or whatever project you're in. Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing a, a lot of programming today. So just make sure you have those, make sure you have your IDE working and your fingers uh, ready to uh, type. Okay. I'm still loading. Yeah, that's fine. I'll give you guys a couple more uh, seconds to uh, let your computer load your game. Okay, uh, so once uh, you have uh, the Unity loaded, again, all we're doing is just making a 3D game. Um, it's a blank game, and uh, again, you can call it whatever you want. I call it Collisions and Triggers. Um, okay, so let's get started by creating our scene first. So um, uh, let's create a plane. Okay. Um, just go to Game Object, 3D Objects, and then Plane. Okay. And then in position, make sure it's uh, X, Y, Z. Make sure it's zero, zero, zero. And then scale, it's going to be five, five, five. Okay. We're going to make this a uh, big plane. Uh, Fernando? Yes. If you have the auto generate light thing on, then do you like not need to mess with the directional light? Yeah, you don't need to mess. Uh, if you mess around with the directional light, you change the kind of like the daytime settings. Mm -hmm. so it becomes like nighttime or daytime, depending on what uh, you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, don't mess around with the daytime. The light. Uh, that's going to be a different class, uh, messing with the light. OK, so everyone should have this plane. Um, and in this plane, of course, uh, we need to color this. And then we have to make a character. So uh, first, let's uh, create our character. So um, I'm going to click on Game Object. I'm not gonna actually going to, I'm not going to make a character. This is just going to be more of a um, model uh, where I'm going to put my stuff so I can kind of orient myself where everything's going to be. So uh, I'm going to make a capsule. Okay. Just go to Game Object, 3D Object, and then Capsule. 
Okay. And just uh, once you get this capsule, just lift it up a bit. Um, and then this is going to be kind of like where your character is going to be. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our main camera on the left hand side and make it a child of the capsule. So just click and drag your main camera into your capsule like that. OK, so then it becomes a child. You see how the main camera now has a, a tab or kind of a yeah tab indentation uh, under the capsule. So that means it became a child of the capsule. So now the camera, let's make it zero, zero, everything. So zero, zero, zero. OK, so it becomes exactly in the center. And then what we're going to do, instead of pulling it back, we're actually going to set it near where the eyes are going to be, okay? because our camera is now going to be uh, we're, this is going to be first person instead of third person. It's going to be first person, so we're going to be the ones in control of, uh, of you know, the movement. We're seeing the whole world instead of seeing the character, what the character is seeing. Um, so uh, just make sure you uh, bring, it, uh, bring the camera up into the eye level of where the character should, you know, should be looking. Um, yeah, so once you have that, click on the capsule again on the left-hand side, right-click, and then create a 3D object and create a cube, OK? The reason why you do this, uh, you click on the capsule, uh, it's because you make uh, the object that you're creating a child of, of that object. So if I right click here, 3D object and cube, you see how it's perfectly centered? That's exactly what we want. It are, it's already 0, 0, 0, and then scale 1, 1, 1. That's what we want. If you make it outside, let's just say you make it here without selecting the capsule and click on 3D, it just creates it depending on where you're looking at. So wherever the camera is looking at, it draws a ray, and then whatever it hits, that's that's where your uh, your cube is going to be made. Um, but we want it exactly in the center of the capsule. So just click on the capsule, right click, 3D object, and then cube. Okay. And what this is going to be is basically just our kind of like our sidearm. <laughs> it's not going to shoot anything. It's just just for um, for viewing purposes. It's artwork. It's a. It's not artwork. I mean, it's just. So, so you can see that there's something there. That's where they're shooting. So uh, what is just scale your cube down and just pull it to the right. Or if you're left-handed, you can put it to your left, whichever way uh, you want, and then make it, you know. Small. So basically, this is kind of like my, uh, and then pull it forward. Um, so th basically, this is kind of like my, uh, my sidearm. So if I go to my camera, click on my camera, then uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's there. I think my camera's a little too high. Let me bring this cube up from around there. Yeah, so uh, if you see, if you click on game, you can see your white, uh, uh, you can see your white box that's there. Uh, okay, so all we did, uh, was it Reese? Yeah, all we did, Reese, is uh, um, we created a plane, a 3D plane, and then uh, just make sure it's at 0, 0, 0, scale 555. Five, five. Once you have that, uh, make a capsule, and then bring your camera inside your capsule, and then uh, make a square, pretending to be your sidearm. That's all we, that's all we did. Okay. Okay. So once you have that, um, let's remove this capsule because we don't need this capsule anymore. Uh, so what you're going to do is uh, click on your main camera. I'm oh, sorry. Click on your cube, uh, the little sidearm you did. Uh, click and drag it into your main camera. Okay. So it should read capsule is the parent of main camera, and main camera is the parent of the cube. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to unparent the the main camera. So we're going to click and drag the main camera outside. So just drag it to the gray area, and there's like a little arrow pointing out that means it's being dragged outside. So now you see the capsule no longer uh, is no longer the parent. So uh, the main cam the main camera doesn't have the indentation anymore. So what we're going to do with the capsule is just delete it. Again, this is just to view uh, to kind of get a sense of where everything is, so we can get a height, uh -huh. a, a good height. Do we just delete like back? Please? Yeah, just delete that capsule. Just make sure it's not the parent of the camera, uh, because if it is, then you delete your everything, the camera and the. The sidearm. So just make sure you drag it out. Um, so the cube has to be in the main camera. Yeah, the cube has to be under the main camera. Okay. So so we drag out the main camera and the cube, and then put the cube under the main camera and delete the capsule. Yeah. Per correct. Okay. I don't see my cube. Um. Can you share your screen so I can see what's going on? Uh. You can call it whatever you want to, Reese. Uh, yeah. You can call it collisions and triggers. It's fine.
Um, let's see. Uh, press F. F. Or double, or double click your cube. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's at zero 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 for some reason. <laughs> your scale, mm. yeah. Make it. Well, change it to one one one. And it should appear. Double click on your cube again. On the left hand side, yeah. Uh, click on your camera. That's weird. Uh, make it zero 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 on your position X Y and Z. Okay. And your camera's still not there. Oh, uh, your scale for your camera is zero zero also. Why is it zero zero? Make it one one one. One, one. Yeah, for some reason you had your camera, uh, your your scale down. Uh, yeah, just bring up your camera. Uh, click on the green arrow and and, and click up or drag it up. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Now click on your uh, click on your cube. Okay, and then uh, press R. Yeah, and then scale it. Yeah, and then no, you want the blue one. Yeah, the green one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now press W. Yeah, and then move it to the, yeah, somewhere around there. It should be fine. Now click on your camera and you should see the side arm. Uh, no, it's too far. No, no, no. Click on the cube, only the cube. Yeah, and then move it to the left again. Yeah, try camera. Uh, it's too close. And pull it. Uh, click the blue arrow. Yeah, I yeah. Click on the blue arrow and then pull it out a bit. Click on the cube. No, no. Click on your cube. Yeah, on the blue arrow and pull it. No, no, no. The other way, huh? Yeah, somewhere around there. That's fine. Yeah, that looks a little better. That's okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna, of course, grab our player controller. Um, so I'm gonna share a link to you guys. Uh, again, this is uh, if you guys fall behind with coding uh, because I do sometimes I code fast, uh, and, and you guys can just grab the the code is all the codes are done. Uh, you can just if you don't want to type, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, you can just grab all the all the code that's there. Um, if you again if you fall behind or like in Reese's case if your computer crashes. You can quickly catch up by just grabbing the scripts. Um, OK, so let me share the, okay, so, right here, okay. Okay, so it's on the comments, uh, yeah, in the, in the chat. Uh, so you can just click on that link, and then that link takes you to um, the folder called FPS. Um, and then in that folder, uh, the only scripts that you need are the first two scripts. It's called fps.cs and then player movement. Those are the two scripts you need. Uh, FPS for, for sure. Yes, and then player movement. Yeah, those two. Mm -hmm. If you want to download everything else, you can, but those two are the ones I'm not going to go over. Um, the rest I am going to go over today. So we're going to create four new scripts today. So just make sure you download a player movement and fps. Once you downloaded them, just uh, drag them into Unity. But you want us to get rid of the bracket one, right? Yeah, if you have parentheses one, like if you downloaded it and it's like a second version and it, it automatically creates a parentheses, yeah, delete those parentheses. So it should just say FPS and player movement. Is this how you do it? I think it's. Wait, is it player movement FPS? Mm -hmm. Yeah, player. No, no, just player movement and then FPS. Oh, because there's also what, one called player movement FPS. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, it's called player movement FPS. Sorry. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> would we download it and drag it into Unity, or would we just copy and paste it into the place where we want to put it? it download it. Just download it and then uh, drag it into Unity. All right. Um, let me see, Benjamin. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you need to do. Except you have the problem where you see the the names they have parentheses on them. You just right click on the on the script, right click, and then rename, mm -hmm. and then erase the parentheses and two at the end. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. And then the same thing on this one, yeah. 
and the other one, yeah. Right click, rename. Yeah. Use your arrow keys. Go or press right. Yeah, and then delete that. Um, delete. I'm trying to open there my project, but it says that the it says the editor version associated with this project is not currently available on the machine. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Um, can you share your screen? Are you trying to uh, open a project yeah. or? Yeah, I'm trying to open my project. Okay. Share your screen so I can see what's going on. Okay, for the rest of you, you guys can just uh, plug uh, plug in uh, both scripts, player movement and FPS. Just drag it into the player, and then uh, it should play off the bat. So just press play, and uh, you should be able to uh, uh, play your oh, game. We dragged a player movement and FPS into key. Yeah, both. Yeah, both of them into the um, into the camera. Main camera is your player. So just drag both of them on the, on there, and then it should work. Okay, let's see. Mm. I think I did it. It looks like it's opening in the back. That's weird. It's opening in the back, but it still says I have an editor problem. Mm, let me see where it says that. Oh, come on. Mine works perfectly. Yeah, yeah. that's that's good. <laughs> Oh, it's just the same color of my shooting thingy. We need the colors. Yeah, uh, you guys know how to make materials, make the materials and color your world. Okay. So Mine's uh, not yeah. working. Your code is not working? Or uh, not not the code, sorry. The uh when I just drag it into the camera, it won't let me play it for some reason. Um if it doesn't allow you, that means uh you probably have a naming issue. So just uh on the bottom the project folder, just uh check the names. Oh, uh, oh! Use... It says there's no character controller attached to the main camera. Oh, so oh, should I just add that? It should automatically um, drag. It. Well, let me see. Share your screen. Did you download yeah. the right one? I think yeah. you dragged the uh, yes yesterday's because uh, the new one has uh, automatically creates a character. Controller. Oh, oh! There's a new one. Oh, I just keep on using the same one over and over again. That's uh, why. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, these diff these different ones are like I I fix some problems that. I got uh, you. I got you. Yeah. All right, then in that case, I'll go download that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then did you fix it, Reese? Uh, I couldn't fix that, like, warning message, but the project was able to open. So I think and you're it's able fine. to edit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now that I'm in, though, what do I add, like, a plane? Yeah, just create a plane. Uh, uh, so go to game object, 3D object, and then plane. And just uh, center it. So zero, zero, zero. On the position okay. and then scale five five five. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, and then from there just create the rest of the stuff. I named it shooting. That's fine. Again, you guys know how to create materials already, so just right click create and then material and just name your material. Like I'm just gonna name my green. The shooting thing is kinda cut off right now. Uh again, you can reposition uh your stuff uh if something okay. doesn't work. And just uh, you can move it. Mm. Okay. So you should have to see something like this, and then when you press play, uh, off the bat it should work without changing any uh, any settings. You can jump. We can look around, uh, and of course, and yeah, that, that's it. To make a material, you right click on the bottom, and then go to create, and then go to material, and then that's how you create a material. Okay, so let's create our first script. Uh, our, sc our first script is going to be our pew pew uh, script, where we're going to um, do some shooting. So uh, let's click on the main camera. <clears throat> and then uh, we're going to scroll all the way down until it says add a component, add component. Uh, click on that, and then we're going to make our script. It's going to be called, um, what did I call it? 
uh, uh, shooting FPS. No, oh, sorry, raycast shooting. So I'm gonna call it raycast. Raycast shooting. Are they making a script? Yeah, click on new script, and then it's gonna uh, give you an option create an ad. So just click on create an ad, um, and then the script pops up. And just double click on the script, and then you should get Visual Studio. If it doesn't kick me to Visual Studio, then um, the script name may only consist of A to Z, A to Z reserved tonight. Yeah, make sure there's no space between raycast and shooting. Mm -hmm. Um, if it doesn't open Visual Studio, let me uh, did you get your Visual Studio installed? Yeah, mine's installed. Yeah, you just have to link it. So can you share your screen? I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, I gotcha. Why is my light generator off? Mm, you can turn it on if you want. Okay, let's see. This is Gavin's, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, just click on clear. Uh, clear. Yeah. yeah. Um, where do I press to turn it on? Okay, it looks like you have a problem with your stuff. Uh, we'll fix that later. Uh, one yeah. moment. Uh, one moment, Benjamin. Uh, okay, let's go to edit and then preferences. Huh? Edit. Uh, preferences. Mm. Oh my God. Do you not have preferences? I don't see it for some reason. Uh, maybe I think it's on you file. just looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is on file. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, go to external tools. Yep. Uh, click on open by file extension. Mm -hmm. The first one. The first one. First one. First yep. one. Yeah. Visual uh, Studio. On, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then wait, hold on. Uh, and then there's an option there. It says add dot unity proj to SL SLN. It's yeah. the second to last. It. Yeah, check it. Yeah. Okay. And then that should be it. Yeah. Okay. Close it. And then, and then, and then double the click on it. Just, uh, just uh, double click on it. Yep. That add dot unity proj is, uh, is grayed out for me. Just a moment. Hold on. And now uh, we should pop up. Should I just hit new, I guess? No, I should automatically. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. It should load up now. And. Oh, perfect. Whoa, where did this thing go? Oh, it looks cool. like it's working. Cool. Now it's you have your editor. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. I have yeah. another problem. My scene is gone. Your scene is gone. Okay. Oh, actually, hold on. We have one more problem. Uh, you still have the red stuff that's there? Yeah, yeah, the red stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the red stuff is, you. I think you downloaded it twice. So go to your project. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see how it says FPS1, FPS11. One, one. <laughs> yeah. Delete delete one of them. <laughs> you, uh -huh. don't need, uh, you don't need two. Yeah. And then rename the other. Right click. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right click and, and then. Rename. 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 Yep. And then erase the parentheses and the one. Yeah. At the end. I tried to drag it into my camera, but I think it didn't allow me. Hell, no, yeah, that's that's why. So now, that's uh, why. yeah, now you can drag it because it, it should have. Uh, oh, okay. It, yeah, it should have uh, recompiled. Gotcha. So I just and it, uh, and it. the same thing that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you download the same thing over and over. I should probably call my script something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Cool. You should, you should work now. Let me know if it doesn't work. All right, Benjamin, yep. you said you had a problem? Yes. Um, it says the screen position is out of view. Uh, just click on clear. Just click clear. There's a button that says clear on the left. Clear. On the left. So move your mouse to the left. Yeah, and it's a bottom. Yeah, it's just clear. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, now double click on your plane. Uh, on your hierarchy. Yeah, does double click it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what happens when I, I think you have a very low um resolution, and then when you make your screen, when you dock your screen like this to the left and right, uh, on Windows 10, I think it the resolution goes like weird with Unity, and that's why it gives you an error. Um, yeah, but that's your computer. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's go back to the coding. Uh, let's get coding. Oh wait, where is the code? I don't see. And how do I get? 
Okay, again, if uh, if this is if I go too fast and you miss it, or something happens between you know me and typing and uh, you can't get it, uh, the code is ready to download from the from the link I gave you. So uh, that's if you want. If you want to type, then let's type. Okay, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so um, we'll break it. What's wrong? I I don't. How do you open the code? I don't know. You just double click on the code. Where is it? Uh, uh, click on project. This thing's in the way. Yeah, yeah, click on project. It's on the bottom. See, there's a button. It's project. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, which one? Uh, double this click thing. on recast shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Come on. Yeah, and make sure you uh, create an account too. I think you I, you said last week that you need to create an account. Oh yeah, I forgot to create an account. How do I? I think you can sign in with Google, maybe. Don't worry. Um, okay. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, so let me go back to my presentation. Uh, okay, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is, sorry, I'm not using double screen. <laughs> Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is, of course, uh, we need to say how how frequent are we gonna shoot. So basically, the frequency, um, how how much force we're gonna hit, or how much force we're gonna do when we hit an object, uh, how far can we shoot, and of course, where are we shooting from. So uh, these are gonna be all public variables uh, that are gonna keep track of you know all these properties. So our first one is gonna be our frequency. So this is a decimal number. Wait, so, so if we don't catch up, um, the code is already there for you in the drive? Yeah, you can just download it from the drive. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. And also, it says my Chrome license. What's wrong? Uh, <clears throat> it will expire in three days. Oh, that's fine. You got three days. So at the end of the class, go make an account. It's free. It tells you where it, it gives you instructions how to create an account. Uh, create one. Here it is. Okay. Um, so we have a uh, public float frequency, and um, we're going to make it a default of 0.5. Um, and then make sure to add the F. The F is to typecast it into a float, uh, because if you just type 0.5, it thinks it's a double, but we're using floats. Um, the next one is how much force is our uh, raycast going to do? So when we hit an object, uh, how much force uh, should it um, be knocked back? So hit force, and it's going to be equal to five. And how far the raycast is going to go? So it's going to be our range. So our range, I'm going to put it to 100 units. Uh, and then where are we shooting from? So it's going to be our transform, and we're going to call this on barrel. Okay. And then also to because we have we're doing frequency, we need to keep track of the current time. So we have to uh, we're gonna create a float and it's gonna be called C time. C time uh, it stands for current time. And so what is our can I make the account right now? Okay. So it's gonna be a current time. Okay. Wait, uh, Fernando, don't you have to put yes. F after any number that's like a float type? Uh, you don't necessarily have to. Um, this one, since it's an integer, it creates it into a float. Float and uh, integers get along. Doubles and floats don't get along. Enter the character you see. Yeah. And what's the difference between a double and a float? Uh, double are, is used for position. Uh, so if you're, let's just say you're calculating very small numbers like moles in, in chemistry or something in biology, and you have to be very precise with your numbers, then floats, okay. uh, I mean doubles uh, are more precise floats. Uh, are very uh, lossy. They uh, lose their position after, I think, after the sixth decimal. But they're um, faster. Uh, kinda, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's just precision. How much memory you're using? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like doubles can like have like be much longer. Yeah, doubles can be much longer and more precise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, because how how it works is um, so I don't know if you're gonna learn this in Java in the Java class. Um, but basically what happens uh, when you do addition or multiplication, um, the computer does binary addition, binary subtraction. 
uh, to do multiplication, it does multiple additions or subtraction and addition oh. for divisions. So it gets really funky uh, once you start getting into big numbers. Uh, and then for some reason, you start losing precision. Um, it's just the binary, how, how binary is designed. Um, so that's, uh, that's okay. why uh, with doubles, it fixes the problem. Um, but with floats, with floats you, uh, you completely lose it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, uh, so like I said, we have our, our, our variables now. Um, now we're going to keep, let's go to the update function. <clears throat> and inside our update function, we need to keep track of our current time. So once our current time is up, then we can shoot. If it's not, then we're going to continue counting up for our, our uh, how much time has passed by through each, um, each uh, frame. And then we're going to add that to our seat time. So here we're going to say, if seat time is less than frequency, that means our time hasn't passed by by how much time we want. So let's just say time is zero and we want 0.5. So this hasn't reached. So we want to add C time plus equal time dot delta time. So how much, how much time has passed by each frame? If we have passed that time, let's just say we passed that uh, 0.5 seconds, that means we're ready to shoot. What we're going to do is we're going to say if input that get mouse button down, oops, button down, Okay, so that means we pressed our button, um, and in here, the inside the parentheses, we have to um, specify what button we're going to press. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do left click, so that's zero. If you want right click, that's one. Middle mouse is two, and then if you have those uh, very fancy keyboard uh, mouse <laughs> mouse keys that have different buttons, then you can put the, uh, more buttons, and then those correspond to those buttons. So um, okay, we have our button. So if we press our button and our frequency is, uh, uh, we pass our frequency, uh, we want to shoot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a raycast. Um, so we're gonna uh, make a raycast hit. Okay? And this object is going to store information of the thing it hit. Uh, and we're gonna just call it hit. Okay. Now we're gonna do our raycast. So we're gonna say if raycast, sorry, um, if physics, all right, six. Uh, raycast. Uh, and inside our raycast, we require uh, four things. We require where we're shooting from, uh, what direction, and then how long, and then where is our information going to be. So uh, here we're going to say barrel dot position, and it's facing barrel dot forward. Information is going to be in out. So we're going to say out kit. And then, um, and then how far our uh, uh, raycast is going to be, it's going to be range. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, keyword called out, what happens is that you're sending it, you're passing it through um, what is it as reference. Um, you're passing it as reference. Yeah, I think it's called, it's a reference, yeah. Um, basically, the information that uh, in, in programming, uh, if you pass something to um, through a function, uh, you're passing it as a, uh, oh, no, no, you're passing it as reference. Yeah, no, this one's passing as value. No, you're passing as value, sorry. When you're doing normal uh, functions, you're passing it as value. This one is passing as reference, meaning whenever you do a function and you do a change in the value in a function, it stays in a function and it doesn't affect it outside the program. Here, when you specify out, uh, that means whatever change uh, hit, uh, hit happened to hit, it's now going to be recorded uh, to that variable. So whatever you put in there, now the change, it, it stays on it. It doesn't uh, revert it back to its original. So now hit has all the information that we need. Um, okay, so once we do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to check, did our rigid body hit, uh, hit something uh, with, a, uh, did, sorry, did our raycast hit something with a rigid body? Because a raycast can just shoot the air, so it didn't hit anything, so it's, you know, it's not gonna, not going to do anything. So, uh, or if it hits an object that you know doesn't have a, a rigid body, we don't want it to you know affect anything. So here we're going to say if hit dot uh, rigid body not equal to null. I mean, there was a rigid body. That means that there's uh, we can affect it. We are going to add a force. So we're going to say hit dot rigid body add force. Oops, not explosion force. Add force. And uh, we want to uh, the force we want to hit is wherever it's hitting. We want the opposite uh, of of the of of the um, of the vector. So we want a negative hit, 
and then it's going to be uh, the normal phase so basically where it, where the the point where it hit with the, the opposite direction times a uh, hit force force Okay, that's the that's the variable we specified uh, how intense it's going to hit and then force mode um, force mode and it's going to be an impulse okay. it's uh, kind of like a gun with pew there's different kinds of uh, forces um, there's a, a continuous force kind of like a let's just say like you have some sort of gravity um, modifier or <clears throat> or like a levitation thing that's a you wouldn't have an impulse it would be more uh, what are the options? This is uh, acceleration. Um, it would be force. Yeah. And then if you have, let's just say, like a car and you're for a jet and you're doing a game where, you know, the jet is taking off, then you have some sort of acceleration uh, force going on. Uh, so there's different uh, different types of forces that uh, that you can apply. Impulse is if it's just, um, if it's just shooting off. Mm. Okay. Uh, Okay, and then finally, what we need to do is uh, C timer uh, has to be reset after we shoot. So after we shoot, so here we have the if statement, and then we have the curly brace. So after the if, uh, after uh, after the if saying the the rate cast, we're going to reset the timer. So we say C time equals zero. Okay. Okay, so uh, that is that. Is that. Um, now, one thing that's going to happen uh, when we run this, the Raycast is going to work, but you don't know uh, if it hits something. Well, the only way to know if it hits something is if that object has a rigid body, then the rigid body will react. So um, let's take a look at that. Let's go back to Unity. So hopefully everyone's done with the code. Um, let's go back to Unity. <clears throat> And what we're going to do is a very simple. Um, we're going to create some cubes. So just create random cubes that are going to be sitting down on the map. OK. So I like doing the pyramid. So three here, one here, one here, and one here. OK. And of course, uh, you need rigid bodies on all of them. They have colliders, but you just have to add a rigid body. And then that's it. You press play. Oh, sorry. Um, you're supposed to do something else. Uh, on the main camera, now it's, uh, uh, if you scroll down to your Raycast shooting, now it's, um, there's one option. It says barrel, and it says none. Uh, so it's going to be itself. Uh, so all you have to do is just click and drag your main camera into, none, uh, into where it says none for the barrel. And now you're able to Raycast. So now when you shoot, you should see your cubes reacting to uh, you shooting, uh, shooting them. Okay. We'll, we'll add a marker so you guys can better see what's going on. Uh, what's your question, Reese? So uh, I, I had to go into the Google Drive and copy the, uh, the Raycast shooting script, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I pasted it in. But for some reason, it says that uh, target hit couldn't be found, even though I just copied and pasted it straight from what you originally said. Yeah, uh, the problem with that is uh, just like you guys had on Tuesday, um, you guys might be the, the name of the file should be the name of the class, so they have to be the same thing. If you guys are copying and pasting, uh, you know, stuff without changing, uh, then that's why you're gonna have an error. So, um, can I see your your uh, your screen so I can help you out? Yes. With your name? Yeah, that's the one thing you have to be careful. If you downloaded it, you can just drag it into Unity, and it, it shouldn't give you an error. OK. So should I just rename it to Raycast Shooting? Mm, no. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay. Uh, target hit is a future, um, a future. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a future script. So just double, uh, double slash in the uh, in front of it. Yeah, and then the if statement too. Below it. Mm -hmm. 
and then the curly braces, and then the, the next three lines. Um, I also copied it from there. Yeah, if you copied it, just uh, comment out the uh, the lines after rigid body for add force. Um, yeah, because that's a that's the later script. Um, do I copy? It? Do I copy mm -hmm. out these? No, no, that that's fine. That's fine. No. Uh, scroll. Wait, hold on, oh, hold on. Scroll, scroll, scroll up. Scroll up. Oh, sorry. But what do we change? Hold on. Um, okay, you see how Raycast shooting? It's not the same. Uh, the R is capital, and then the for Raycast shooting. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, capital R. Mm-hmm. Okay, save it and go back to Unity. Wait just a minute, I'll try to make these cubes. And then it should, uh, yeah, just stop playing. Click on your main camera. And scroll down. Oh, you don't even have your player movement. <laughs> Add your player movement. Yeah, I was gone for a majority of the. Uh, yeah. And then add FPS. All right. Yeah, it should work. Uh, well, it's not going to work because you, you don't have anything uh, on your scene. So create some cubes like I did on my scene. Just create like a pyramid of cubes or just a random amount of cubes. Do I just hit uh, create? Game object. No, no, no. Not there. Not there. Just go on the top menu bar. Game object. Yeah, game object, 3D objects, and cubes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, of course. No, all right. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at yours. I'm no longer presenting. Um, let's see. Uh, wait. I can't. I can't see. Just a minute. Okay. Was it capitalized? No, no. Yours is fine. Um, what you have to change is uh your name of the file. The name of the file says Raycast shooting, and then parentheses one. You need to change that. Um, but we'll change it after. So let's keep scrolling yeah, down. It is that. Keep scrolling down. Down, down, down. Okay. So there's your first error. It's on line 42. So just uh, click, uh, just do double slash on line 42. Yeah, on the red, uh, before the red. Hmm? Before the red, before target hit. Yeah. Yeah. Click on it. No, no, no. The the uh, before the the letter T and target hit. Yeah. Okay. Now double slash. So it's the key with the question mark. Yeah. Perfect. And then do the same thing with the next uh, four lines. Next one. Mhm. Mm the parenthesis, the cur curly brace. And it's, do you need, you also need to do the curly braces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom curly brace. Yeah, perfect. Yep, save it. Control S. Okay, go back to Unity. Go back to Unity. Okay, um, you need to rename this. Uh, right click. Hold on. Right click, rename. And then go all the way to the end. So use your right arrow. Yeah, and then erase the one. Yeah. Oh my god. What do we press to shoot? Like just click. Yeah, just click. Wait, um click. no, it's it's not going to work. Uh stop playing. Press escape on the top left key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh click on your main camera. Okay, uh, scroll down, all the way down. Um, okay, yeah, so you have a missing script. So just uh, click the uh, triple dots and just remove component. Yeah, and then add a raycast shooting. Add component. Yeah, yeah, raycast. R-A-Y. It's R-A-Y, not R-A-I. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there uh, it says barrel the nun. So just click and drag your um, your main camera into the barrel. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just press play, and it should work. Oh, actually, did you uh, put rigid bodies to your cubes? 
I don't think I did. No, they don't have rigid bodies. Add component, rigid body. Do the same thing to all the uh, all the boxes, all the cubes. Okay. Uh, yeah, with oh, the rigid part rigid part. body two D or uh, just rigid body. Just rigid, rigid body. body yeah. Yeah. Um. So with mine, I don't know what's happening, but every single time that I zoom in on my scene, the plane keeps like engulfing all the other stuff. Why? I don't know. Like every <laughs> single time that I, everything just goes under it. Um. Can you share your screen? Okay. So I have it like this. Oh, you have an isometric? Why do you have an ISO? I don't know. I don't know what uh, there's this yeah, click on ISO. Yeah, oh, it can change its perspective. Okay, yeah. yeah. When did I change that? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. okay, good. Uh, I just have one problem, just one curly mm -hmm. brace out of place, so. Mm, sure, uh, let me uh, yeah, take a look at yeah. it. Good, uh, share. Here we go. Does it auto-complete for you? Um, <laughs> yeah, it does, but I don't know where this last one goes from. I think it's connected to the else curly brace, but. Mm. No, what do I hold press? On. Hold on, hold on. Oh well, your curly braces are whack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, if it's there, and this is the if. Um, hold on, stop. Well, am I just going into? Um. Uh, can you uh um can you hold um let's see what's what's the thing here? Hold on, hold on. What up? Um uh, just a moment. Um let's see where is the tool? Okay, uh can you go to edit? Yeah. Um, yeah, Ooh. edit, um advanced. Is Ed there advanced? No, okay, click on format. Format, oh. yeah, edit. Oh, format. format. Yeah. yeah. Uh, format document. Okay, that's better. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you're just missing a curly brace. So press oh. enter. Yeah, press enter. And then another curly brace. Uh, a closing or? Yeah, opening? closing. Yeah, closing. Okay. And that should work. Uh, you need one more. One more? Yeah that's, yeah, that's the function update, and you need one more for that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. All Usually, right, yeah, right. it's it's better to format your stuff. Um, to format it, okay. Yeah, because you can see if you see the curly braces, you can see how they're lined up. Yeah, so that's open. To yeah, up. open, yeah. closed, open, open, closed, open, closed. Close, so yeah. you can All see right. that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Thanks. Yeah. My thing is still not shooting. You have to do a rigid body for this one also. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I'm I'm helping Parsha. Uh, what's up, Parsha? Uh, my shooting is not working either. Um. Uh, okay. Can you share your screen? Mm -hmm. Oh shoot! Where did that thing go? My shooting thing's gone. Um. Let's see. Can you click on your main camera? Okay. Scroll down. Okay. Raycast. Uh. Yeah. It looks like you have an error with Raycast shooting. An error. Yeah, because it's not loading. Um. Did you save your script? Oh, yeah. I because we have public objects, so it doesn't didn't give any options down there. Okay, now scroll down. Yeah, so now you have that. No, no, no! Don't press play yet. Mm. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the barrel. You see, I said none. Yeah, barrel. Just click and drag. No, no! Don't drag your cube. Don't drag your cube. This is the camera. Yeah. Wait, what? It's actually the camera. It's itself. It, it's oh. it's uh yeah. We can't do it through the cube because it's um it works differently with Raycast. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, because you don't see it coming out of the barrel anyways, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, nothing's going to come out from the barrel. But yeah. yeah. Well, you'll see. Uh, my shooting color. Can you click? Yeah, there's like some force, right? Yeah. So I'll just increase that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Well, what's up, Benjamin? <clears throat> my, my shooting is not working either. Okay, uh, click on your camera. You're already presenting. You're already presenting. You don't have to present again. Yeah. 
Uh, click on camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, scroll down. Mm, okay, uh, yours is uh, missing the decal. Uh, so that's uh, the other option we were supposed to do, the other thing we're supposed to do, because uh, I think uh, Zane has the same problem. Um, okay, just uh, hold on to that. Uh, we'll, you mean we'll Reese? Reese, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Or yeah, someone had a problem. Yeah, Reese. Oh, Reese. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to uh, share your screen? So just hold on, Benjamin. Yeah, sure. uh, that problem we're gonna fix it. Uh, like right ne next. This the, that's the next step. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. All right, so basically, uh, whenever I hit, pl I just added rigid bodies to my cubes. Whenever I play, I just fall through the plane. And at the bottom, it says non convex mesh collider, <laughs> but non kinetic rigid body is not supported in Unity 5. Yeah. Okay, click on your uh, plane. Okay. And then uh, scroll down, remove the rigid body. Oh, all right. Yeah, and then. You, yeah, your, your, uh, your ground should never have a rigid body. It's oh. like saying there's no, <laughs> if your floor keeps continuously falling, then of course you're going to fall too. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, right, I'm like, I'm clicking when I, here, I'll show. When I'm playing, I'm clicking, but I'm not shooting. There you are. I am? Shoot. Um, is it is um, it click to shoot? Yeah, yeah you're shooting. Shoot. You just can't see a bullet or a crosshair, so it's hard to know where you're aiming. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. Uh, I we're going to add a crosshair? Not, yeah, we're gonna add a, we're gonna add everything uh, next step. Wait, hold okay. on, hold on. Uh, Reese, you're still not done. No, don't. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see. Click on your main camera again. Uh, scroll down on your uh, inspector. Um, you don't even have the shooting script on there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like that was yeah. just gravity. Just the cubes moving down. Yeah, I was confused. I, I was... Wait, wait, hold on. You're still not done. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just resting my mouse here. I see. Um, so it says you see barrel and it says none. Uh, yeah. Click and drag your main camera into barrel. No. Nope. No, no, no. Your camera is from the left hand side, from the hierarchy. From the hierarchy, yeah. Click and drag it into where it says none. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think you have another. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So from here, it's not going to work either because um, you need the decal. Uh, that's what we're going to do next. Okay. 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 Wait, for so me? Think, uh -huh. Oh, sorry, sorry. It doesn't even say I have a decal. It doesn't just it just doesn't even list that as an option here. Maybe that's cuz I'd like drag you... the camera to my barrel and it still says the variable hasn't been assigned. Uh the decal or it doesn't or even what... show decal for me. No, no, it's not supposed to show decals. Decal is the okay. the, the 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 ones that downloaded it from the website yeah. or from the drive. Yeah. Uh, I have decal, so they're like one okay. step ahead of me. Yeah. Um, um, but so yours is giving you an error. Can I see yeah, your the screen? Yeah, I gotcha. I think I also have an error. Yeah, uh, remember, Benjamin, it's not going to work. You have to hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I can't shoot. It doesn't do anything when I just click. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it's not going to do anything. It runs into an error. Okay, let's see what's yours. Uh... Yeah, right here. This is main camera. Because I added the main camera, I dragged it from the hierarchy, uh -huh, and then uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. still gives me this. Here, I'll try and play. Uh, move over Who's to doing the that? It just kicks me out. And then same error message. Um, can you double click that uh, error message? Uh, um, I can't press. Only just uh, knocked it out. And go back to Unity. Yeah. That should work. Um, press clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then press clear on play also. So every time you play it, it clears out the the, the yeah. message. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It should be working. Everything. Oh. Nope. Uh, can you click on that once? Oh, okay. Uh, no. Oh my God. That's... Press play again. No. Okay, click yeah. on the main camera. Okay. Oh, whoop, oh, sorry, man. That's okay. It's okay. Let me get here. I'll just get the error message again. Boom. Yeah, now click, click the main camera. Uh huh. And scroll down. 
Oh, you have two Raycat shootings for some reason. Oh, I have two? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, what the? Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. FPS. Yeah, okay. you, want, you, you might want to do that again because when you have, yeah, it's not going to, you press play. Mm. Okay, now remove it again. I think it's still there. Uh, stop, no, no, stop playing. Stop yep. Playing. Okay, now click on your main camera. I think it's still there. Yep, yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Remove. There you go. Now it saves it. All okay, right. good. All right, cool. Thank you. Um, okay. mm -hmm. Mine is still not working. Yeah, I, I, Benjamin, I just told you, we have to do the next step for it to work. I know, but then when I click, it doesn't like knock them out. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you, it's not going to do anything. You have to wait oh, for the Oh, how did we do it? Okay, we're going to fix it right now. Just give me a moment. Okay. All right, let's uh, go back to the code and then let's fix the last problem, uh, which is the barrel. <clears throat> um, in Raycast. Yeah, so let's go back to Raycast shooting. Uh, and inside Raycast shooting, um, for the ones that downloaded this, you don't have to type this in because it's already there. Um, so uh, up here, uh, for the ones that were just typing the code, after we do a Raycast, um, what we want to do is we're going to add a decal. So wherever it hits, that decal is now going to stay there. Uh, kind of signifying your bullet and hit there, and then you know you know that you're hitting something. So um, we're gonna create a clone. So we're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna instantiate a uh, a, um, a decal. So we're gonna say uh, game object clone equals instantiate. And what we're creating is we're creating a barrel. Uh, sorry, we're creating a decal. So we're gonna say decal. Mm, oh, we haven't uh, we haven't uh, said what decal is. So uh, let's go up again. <clears throat> oh and we're going to specify what decal is. So we're going to go up here to the public class. So we say public decal, oh, sorry, public game object decal. Okay. Make sure you have game public game object decal. So now we, um, we uh, declared it. And let's go down here, back, back down here to instantiate. So we're instantiating decal. And um, the position where it's going to be, it's hit that point, because that's where our, um, our our raycast hit. And then uh, this one is a uh, this one's a little tricky. This one you have to figure out where its normal is according to where the the hit went. Normally we use negative hit, uh, but for this one we want it to face uh, the the player because you know where you're you're shooting, that's where your bullet is or your bullet is coming from. <clears throat> so we do quaternion. Dot from to rotation, okay, and inside from to rotation, we need um, what vector? Um, what vector are we looking for? So vector three dot uh, dot forward, and we're comparing it to hit dot normal, okay. So where our hit was set. So let me uh, zoom out so you can see this a little better. Okay. And then semicolon. Okay. So after we create a clone, um, what we want to do is also we want our clone to be part of that object. So if that object moves, for example, the cube, if we shoot the cube and it, it starts to rotate, that <clears throat> that decal has to follow that cube. Um, or else if you shoot, that decal is just going to be floating in midair, and that doesn't make sense. So we want that decal to follow the cube. So we're going to say uh, clone dot, oops, clone dot, um, Transform dot set parent, and the parent is going to be hit dot transform. It's a thing it just hit. Okay. And finally, we want to destroy this um, this uh, decal after a couple of seconds because after a while we don't care where we hit. You know, that's it doesn't it doesn't matter anymore. Um, so we're going to say destroy. Oops. Destroy. Clone, comma. Uh, so how many seconds? I'm going to put six seconds. So after six seconds, the decal is going to be gone, and then we don't have to worry about it. OK, so we're going to press Control S to save. <clears throat> OK, once you, have your, um, once you have this part of the code, um, you can go to Google um, and look for a uh, what is that called? A bullet decal with the, the bullet. 
A bullet and hole it, decal? Yeah, bullet hole decal or impact bullet PNG. Um, you can look it up, or if you can't find any, you can just go to my uh, Google Drive, and then I have a uh, folder called Art, <clears throat> and you can just go inside that uh, folder, and it has a bullet decal. If you want to use that one, if you want to go look for your own, that's that's totally fine. Um, just make sure it's a PNG. Once you have it, download it, and then drag it into your uh, Unity, and also look for a crosshair. Um, again, you're free to go to Google and look for a crosshair. If not, then you can just download the one I I have in my art asset uh, art folder. <clears throat> Wait, where's the art folder? I looked on like the Google Drive, but I couldn't see it. Um, it should be there. Uh, like in the one with all the scripts. Yeah. Yeah. It's huh. it's not there. Can you refresh? Maybe it's not the. Uh... Try again. Did you find it? No. Oh. Oh yeah. Now I see it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, make sure they're all PNGs. <laughs> uh Yes. I'm getting an error in the it's Unity, it's saying that the variable decal of Raycast shooting has not been assigned. Yeah, because we haven't assigned it. We're doing that right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you go find the decal, and then once you have a decal, then we're going to assign it. The decal is the bullet, right? It's the bullet impact, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're not we're not doing the actual bullet. like you know, it's, because that, that was the other ray cast. I mean, that's the other instantiate we did last time. But for this one, we're just doing a ray cast. So it's just going to okay. make the impact once it hits an object. <laughs> You can't just drop the PNG into the decal? Mm, no, no, you have to download a PNG. So once you download a PNG, that's what I'm waiting everyone for to do. If it's not letting you download it, uh, then what? Because I'm what just do clicking not... download and like nothing's popping up for some reason. On the Google Drive? Yeah. Um, just refresh your Google Drive, your page, and maybe it'll let you download again. Yep. <laughs> Uh, try not zipping or try not downloading them both at the same time. Download each one individually. Usually, yeah, that's a Google Just slow at. <clears throat> okay. Oh, well, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So once you have those two objects, um, click on the object. Or am I presenting? Yeah, I'm presenting. Okay. Just click on the on your bullet. For example, this one. It's a bullet. Uh, it's a bullet impact hole. Um, just click on it and just make sure it's a UI object. So here it says texture type. On your inspector, texture type default, make sure you click on Sprite 2D and UI. Okay. And then press apply, and it should change it to the correct, uh, uh, into a correct object. And then the same thing with the crosshair. Click on Sprite 2D and UI, and then press apply. Okay. And now you should have your crosshair and your bullet uh, uh, thing. Okay. Once you have that, um, you, you can do this two ways. The easiest way you can do this is just click and drag your bullet. Outside, make sure you don't drop it into the um, into the into the world just like that, or else it's gonna repaint something. Uh, so just drag it into kind of like in the in the sky, uh, and then it, you'll see that the bullet will pop up. The bullet uh, thing will pop up. The you um, the sprite, um, and then it's a flat object, so that's perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this, um, not drag it. Sorry, we're gonna scale this, make this smaller. So uh, I use the R key. To uh, bring up the scale, click on the white uh, box and then scale it down to something. Uh, you know, something. I think that size of a hole should be fine if it, you know, if it hits the box like box like this. That size of a hole should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, randomly, my screen, not like my entire screen, but just that one screen where the simulation of the game is playing, just went black. Do, do you know why that is? Um, why? I don't know. Maybe your camera is somewhere else. Maybe you accidentally moved your camera. Okay. So once you have your bullet, um, if you still have a problem, just uh, share the screen with me and I can help you out. Yeah. Once you have your bullet um, decal, 
um, call it something else. So just rename it. So instead of 14 bullet shot hole PNG image, call it like decal. Okay. And um, uh, hold on, Reese. One last thing. Um, or sorry, Benjamin, where we're sharing. Um, and then one last thing. Uh, after you do your decal, uh, click and drag your detail decal from the hierarchy into the project folder. Okay. So you're going to do it. Look at my screen. So we're going to click from here and then drag it into the bottom right here into the folder. And it creates a, uh, a uh, it's called a prefab. Okay. Once you have that, delete the decal that's on the scene and then go to your main camera. And then where it says decal, click and drag your decal there. Okay. So now when you press play, wherever you shoot, the decal is going to appear. Okay. Uh, Fernando. What's up? For some reason, my decals are like really glitchy. Like when I shoot them, they like flash and stuff. Like in and out. Oh, the reason why they're flashing is because they're not. Um, they're exactly at the at like the edge of the. Um, uh, of the sides, uh, so that the, then you have rendering problems. So we're going to fix that problem right now. Um, let me just help. Uh, let me just help everyone else. Uh, mine says the name Deco does not exist in the current context. Mm, you maybe misspelled something. Can I see your screen? We're supposed to make a variable equal. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to make a public uh, game object decal. Uh -huh. I can't do my. I didn't even put it on because I don't know how to. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to fix our decal problem. One, it's not showing up. And two, we're going to add a crosshair so we know exactly where we're shooting. Because it looks like mm -hmm. <clears throat> when we shoot, we're like, what's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Uh, so what scale did you use for the crosshair decal? Because uh, uh, I'm using one one one, but that's like huge. My scale is point zero five. Okay, and then I just drag. Where do I like put the decal so it appears when I shoot? Um, uh, first you need to make a prefab of it. So just click and drag your decal, the PNG, um, into let's just say like the sky, and it should appear. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then once you have it, scale it, and then click and drag it down to the project, so where you dragged it from, and it creates a prefab. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, Benjamin. Um, so, okay, so you haven't done the decal stuff. Uh, okay, so click and drag your bullet. Um, yeah, click and drag it into the sky or in the ground. No, undo. Yeah, click and drag it into the into the uh, sky. You see the gray area or the sky? Just drag it in there. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't drag it. Do it again. There. Okay. Uh, now uh, scale it. Make it smaller. So press R. Yeah. And then what? Mm, okay. And then uh, rename this. <clears throat> Rename it. No, no, not there. <laughs> Down here. Uh, on the I left have hand this side. thing. What is this thing? Uh, yeah, it's it's a, called a UI. It's a, don't worry about it. It's a sprite. 
Um, let's uh, click on the bullet uh, shot hole image. That's on the hierarchy on the left-hand side. No, not that one. That's the original one. How do I do it? Where is the rename? Left, on the left, on the hierarchy. Yeah. Right-click, rename. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just name it there. Okay. And then call it um, decal. Okay. And then click and drag that into, into the bottom. So on the left, on the hierarchy. Yeah, click and drag it to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Now delete that uh, that decount uh, version. <coughs> no, 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 no. Cancel. On the hierarchy, dude. We're only working with the hierarchy. Yeah. Delete. Yeah. Okay. Now click on main camera. Okay. Now scroll down. On your on your uh, inspector. Mm -hmm. On your inspector. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then see it says decal none. Drag your decal that you just made into that decal uh, none. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Now it should work. Sorry. After you download the two things, yeah, so my thing glitched out, so I had to restart. So what do you do after you drag the uh, the bullet shot in the crosshair into the assets? Mine, mine kind of looks glitchy. Yeah, we're gonna, we're fixing that problem right now. Uh, say that one more time, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, it's my thing. Oh. I know, Benjamin. Just give me a moment. We're gonna fix that. Um, let's say that one more time. Yeah. So I, I tried to drag the through in, and then my uh Unity crashed, so I had to restart. So after you have them, after you drag the uh two pictures into assets, what do you what do you do? Um, they should already be uh, prefabs. Did you create prefabs or no? Uh, no. I, so, I just dragged them in and then I had to restart. Uh, so I my see. left glitch glitched out. I see. Do you want to share your screen and I can uh, walk you through? Yeah. yeah. Make sure you guys save also. Press Control S. So you guys don't lose anything. Like if your computer crashes or anything like that. Yep. I can't shoot anymore. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's take a look at your presentation. Okay, um, so let's go to Raycast. Uh, no, sorry. Let's go to your. Okay, sorry. I click on your main, uh, your bullet. Uh, your hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now go to default on mm -hmm. the type and then nor, uh, UI, 2D UI. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then press apply, bottom, all the way in the bottom. Uh, apply. Okay. Okay. And now click and drag your bullet, and then uh, drag it to uh, that the top right orange uh, gray area. That's, uh, that has nothing. Keep going, keep going. Top gray. Uh, yeah, on, on your scene, on your scene, on your oh, scene. Oh, my scene. So like yeah, right here. Yeah, like ah, yeah. So it appear. Yeah, let go. Okay. Okay. So good. Now scale it down. Uh, Press R. Yep. And then just. You might want to press the white button. Yeah, uh, it kills you uniformly. Okay. Okay. So whatever size you want, that's fine. Uh, yep. Rename it <clears throat> and uh, call it decal. Okay. Uh, now click and drag that decal from the hierarchy and drag it down. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Okay. And now uh, go to your main camera mm -hmm. and scroll down and then uh, add that's the that decal. decal. Yeah. Into the okay. Map. And then what do you do with the crosshair? Uh, oh, one moment. So just delete your decal on the left. No, 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 not oh, that wait, one. Not no, that no, one. no. Yeah, wrong one. <laughs> no, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> no, your decal from your hierarchy. Oh, oh, from the hierarchy, from the hierarchy. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we haven't gotten into the crosshair yet. Let me. I'll, I'll show okay. everyone how to do it. Yeah. Cool. And then gotcha. there's also a problem with the with the shooting. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, let's go back to the <laughs> where we were. Uh, okay. So now there's a problem. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, where you shoot and it starts to work. But then it doesn't work anymore, and it uh, starts getting weird. You're like, "What's going on? It's not even accurate." Um, so the reason why it's not currently it's not working well because it, remember we had this problem last week where we started shooting the bullets and the bullets started randomly started going lower and lower. And I told you I was going to figure it out, so I did figure it out. The problem was the rigid body. The rigid body is adding different kind of forces every time you shoot. Uh, so to fix that problem, click on your main camera, scroll down. Uh, until you find your rigid body and in your rigid body on your constraints freeze your rotation 
<clears throat> so go freeze X, Y, Z, and then freeze your Y position. Okay. Freeze all of them? No. Freeze all the rotations, so X, Y, Z, and then freeze only the Y position. Okay, so look at my screen. It should look like this. Okay, once you have that, <clears throat> it should fix your problem of uh, of random um, of shooting randomly uh, on the floor. It should be a more accurate. Okay, and to be more accurate, you can add a. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is bang. Um, you can add a um, what's it called crosshair. To make the crosshair, <clears throat> click on your crosshair uh, on your on your assets. <clears throat> Make sure it's a 2D object. So um, texture. Uh, so make sure you change it from default to tech, sprite 2D and UI. And then press apply. <clears throat> and just like you did with your decal, uh, click and drag it, your crosshair into your scene. Um, so um, drag it into the air, uh, into the, the sky like this. So it, it makes an object. If you drag it into this, then it repaints the 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 material. So then, uh, what you're gonna do is once you have the crosshair, make it go underneath the camera, and then make it go zero zero zero. So zero zero zero, and then um, and then pull it out just a bit, something like this, and then that's gonna be your crosshair. Just a minute. And then wherever you shoot, that's that's where the that. gonna be. Oh my god! Okay, so now it's gonna be zero 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 again. Um, your crosshair. Just uh, yeah. make it to zero. Mm -hmm. So make sure your crosshair is inside your camera. Yeah, I have it inside my camera, and then Are just you zero, zero. The um, so you just click and drag your object inside the camera. Um, it should highlight, and then uh, you, it, it goes inside. It, it indents. That means it's inside the camera. My crosshair just colored right. everything. Cool. I can't put it in the. I can't put it in the sky. Yeah, just uh, don't. Okay. Uh, when you drag this stuff, don't drag it into the floor. Or drag it into an object. If you drag it into an object, it completely repaints it. Just press Control mm -hmm. Z to undo. Um, to do this correctly, just click and drag your object into the sky, or or just move but your it mouse. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, let me uh, see your screen. Okay. Yeah, I told you you have to make this into a PNG. It's not a PNG. So click on default and then change the sprite to sprite 2D UI. Mm -hmm. Now scroll down and press apply. Now scroll down and press apply. Yeah. Okay, now you can drag it out. There you go. Now drag it into your camera. No, 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 no. Drag it. No, no. Okay, the crosshair is already there. Yeah, click and drag it into your camera. Yeah. Now zero it out on your position. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then uh, drag your crosshair uh, forward. So click on the blue arrow and drag it forward somewhere around there. That's fine. Okay, and then uh, click on your camera. <clears throat> okay, uh, scroll down. Okay, now press play. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Fernando? Yes. I have a problem with my crosshair because every single time that I walk too close to the cubes or like I face too much to the ground, it just goes through the. You you know, it goes through the cube? No, yeah, it like it goes behind it, yeah. What? <laughs> That's new. Uh, can I see your script? Uh, can I see your uh, screen? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting that problem too. Like, I can just when I move the crosshairs, it can like go behind the. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Is that is that what you mean? Yeah, the reason why because it's uh, yeah. So if you walk too close, it, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. let's fix that problem. Yeah, I wanted you guys to notice that problem. So okay. the reason why. So take a look at my screen. Um, let me share my screen again. Wait, which problem are you talking about? Um, when you get too close, the crosshair disappears. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I fixed that. I just moved it really close to my camera. Yeah, well, that's not a fix, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> the reason why that's happening is because take a look at my screen. Uh, this is why uh, you shouldn't just focus on a game scene. So let me uh, uh, let me glitch this out. I'm going to drag this. Oh, okay, cool. It glitched me out. 
I'm gonna grab my game down here and then my thing. Okay, so I'll take a look at my at my screen. <clears throat> so now uh, you see where my crosser is. So now I get closer, you see my crosser is moving forward. But now when I, I, I get close to the cube, my crosshair goes inside the cube and it disappears, right? So now if I rotate, it goes like this. So you're, this is an actual physical object that is uh, it's, um, colliding with the other stuff. So uh, I, when I don't know if I did that. So uh, the way to fix this is to actually, instead of uh, creating a, um, a, a, an actual object, this is what I wanted you guys to see. Instead of creating an actual object, we're going to uh, make it into a UI. So we're going to delete. So delete your crosshair. <clears throat> okay. And then what we're going to do? Do we delete it from the gray area thing? Hierarchy. From the hierarchy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, when you have that, right click on your um, on uh, here on the hierarchy, and then we're going to create UI, and we're going to create a um, image. Okay. So First click on. So right click on the gray area, UI, and an image. Okay? okay. And then what this is what this is going to do is it's going to render everything first, and then it's going to render the stuff uh, on top of it uh, for your camera. So now uh, this giant like white stuff will I mean white lines will appear. Uh, so that's your UI. So just double click on your it, it should say image. Just double click on your image, and then zoom out. Uh, if you zoom out, <clears throat> you'll see that the, this white square is uh, not in the center. So just center it, um, or you can just put position zero 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 on your uh, x and y uh, on your um, transform. Just um, make it zero zero, and then uh, what you're gonna do is just uh, in the bottom there's an image script, and it says image source, and it says non none sprite. Click and drag your crosshair into that sprite, and it should uh, it should now have your, um, your crosshair. Uh, what? So now when you press play. Now your crosser is there, and then whenever you get close to an object, that crosser does not disappear. Wait, we drag in the source image or material? Uh, what? No, the source image. It should be the PNG. Okay. If you don't see the white line, is that a problem? Because I, I just drag it into. I just follow along with what you said, but I don't see the white lines or anything. Um. Yeah, your gizmos might be turned off, so that's why you don't see the white line. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. How do you do it? How do you like drop it in with this <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Uh, where's Benjamin? Okay. So click on your image. <clears throat> no, 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 no. The white the white box. Yeah. Um, okay, you see it says there source none, so just click and drag it in there. Your crosshair. Yeah. Click and drag it into your it says source image. Uh, it's right there, uh, top, 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 top. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Uh -huh. And that's it. Just press play. Yep. Okay, uh, so now your crosshair shouldn't be disappearing. It's a little bit smaller now. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. If you want your uh, your image to be bigger, um, click on the image uh, on the, underneath the canvas, and it says scale. This is one one one. Just make it bigger. I'll do like the two, and then your crosser should be uh, bigger. Um, I got a question after you're done with him. Yeah, I'm done. What's up? All right. Uh, so sh should I present my screen? But yeah, sure. All right. So there's this weird thing that I I'm pretty sure. Uh, so. What I did was I, I dragged the the white lines into like the center what you said and uh you said source image but like I heard you say source image a couple times but what do you mean like by drag it in the source image or whatever oh, oh okay uh, it's on the properties box uh, so stop playing so click on image <clears throat> mm -hmm. and then you see how it says source image in the in the properties yeah it's none. That. Yeah, you need to specify what's your uh, crosser. So click and drag your crosser. Okay. In there. Mm -hmm, perfect. And then there's your crosser. Yeah, oh, and play. I got uh, one more question after. What's your question? It's because when I sh when I shoot, uh, it doesn't actually shoot. Like I'm clicking, but it's not shooting, and there's no decals appearing. Mm, okay. So it says you have an error right there. Uh, you see the red text on the bottom left? Oh, it yeah, says I, I see that. Decal is not referenced to something. Yeah, so stop playing. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Go to your camera. 
on the hierarchy or in the actual in the hierarchy, field? in the hierarchy. Okay. Okay, scroll down. <clears throat> Okay, see, see, it says uh, decal. N okay, we don't care about decal. Well, just drag and drop your decal. Um, okay. The, the one we made, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, uh huh. Into that, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was I'll running see. into an error. That's why um, the whole script couldn't uh, do. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, Fernando. Yeah, what's up? Um, like sometimes when I'm randomly doing stuff, my sensitivity of like. Alt, uh, mouse click is like crazy, or like the zoom, it just changes randomly. Mm. So can you like, like it? after, after, like it was fine before I made the canvas and the image and stuff, mm -hmm. and now it's like super hard for me to zoom and like look around and stuff and pan and tilt. Oh, um, that means you're just unfocused. Um, the way to refocus is just, uh, yeah, just press F. Press oh, F to refocus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you're when it's hard like this, it's because you were zooming in and out too much, and you yeah. unfocus on your your thing you're looking at. So, yeah. uh, just press F to focus, and then the camera kind of resets all its uh, all its stuff. And it's okay if the thing if it in the, all the lines are just like that, right? Like this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, don't don't worry about the canvas. The canvas, um, the whole purpose of it is it <laughs> renders at a giant scale. And then depending on what size of object, I mean, what screen do you have? So if you're doing it on a mobile phone or anything like that, it, resa it rescales. Um, and then it, 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 it's for rendering purposes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Also, um, mm -hmm. uh, whenever I shoot, like, I mean, it looks pretty good now. It's actually pretty accurate and everything. But then it, like, it, it it's really glitchy. Yeah, yeah. That's a... Um, that's, uh, that's a problem uh, that um, I'm going to fix. Um, okay. That has to do with, uh, let's see. Give me one moment and see if I can fix this quickly. Also, the bullet thingy is kind of glitchy when it hits you. Uh, the decal? Yeah, uh, I have to figure this out uh, next. Time. Yeah, it's, this this one requires for me to sit down and kind of figure out where where its new position is going to be. Um, oh, we'll fix it next time. Uh, what it is, like I said, it's um, it's spawning that decal exactly on the face of the object. So when you uh, when you uh, when you're facing it, your camera is having rendering problems. It's trying to render the face of the cube and the decal at the same time. That's how you're having that uh, weird um, glitching problem. Uh, but I'll fix that problem uh, next time. I'll, I'll look into that okay. and try to fix the math about that. OK, um, we still have some time. So let's uh, do more uh, more cool stuff. So um, let's see what we're going to do. OK, uh, so for this one, I'm going to make this a little go a little bit faster. Um, so let's uh, create some targets. So um, let's create a uh, cylinder. <clears throat> I'm going to squish this down. You guys can see my screen, right? Representing, yes. OK. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make a cylinder. I'm just going to drag it here. And I'm going to squish this down like that. Rotate this like this. Remove the capsule collider. We don't need this. Um, it's going to be 90 degrees, like that, 
and then I'm going to have. What's up? But I can't really see your screen that well. You can't see my screen? No, I mean, it's like behind. Yeah, yeah, now it's better. But it's still, I think someone else might be presenting. Mm. No, now it's good. Now it's good, I think. Yeah. OK. <laughs> OK, so like I said, I just created a cylinder, and I flattened it out. I uh, rotated it. Uh, I'm going to make another cylinder. So another. Uh, Why are you making cylinders? Uh, because I'm creating a target. Oh. So, Something like this, maybe a little bit thinner, taller. You're making a pool now? A what? A pool. Pool? No, no, no. A it's pool. A, a target. So basically what's going to happen is uh, these two objects are going to be, or this object is going to be a target. And whenever you hit this target, it's going to go blink, and it's going to go down, um, kind of like target practice. So um, let's create a empty game, an empty game object. Now, the reason why we're going to create an empty game object because uh, we need to create a pivot point. Uh, because if I, let's just say I make this cylinder a child of this uh, other cylinder, and I rotate this cylinder, see what happens when I rotate this cylinder? It, it's a weird rotation, and I don't want that. I want the, the thing to have a different pivot point. So the pivot point, uh, I'm going to move it to kind of like the bottom of the cylinder. Position this. Do we have to do this? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, if, if you want to, um, you can just watch because we're running out of time. So I'm going to kind of power through this because this is just creating the object. Um, uh, I just have a quick question. How do you yeah. rotate? How do you? Because my cylinder, I flattened it out, but it's like facing upright and I want it to be facing forward. To so rotate, you press E. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then the, like a little circle thing appears and then oh. just uh, click on one of the lines. Do not okay. click on the empty space. If you click on the empty space, you start rotating weird. Uh, just click on the lines, and you should be able to rotate correctly. All right. Uh, if you want, if you want perfect rotation uh, on your transform on your object, it says rotation. Uh, I put ninety degrees, just ninety, and it rotates at ninety on the X only, and then zero out Y and Z. If you have other rotations, then you, your thing might be crooked. So we have to add a rigid body for the cylinders. Uh, no, not yet. Um, we're gonna add that later. Um, okay, so now that I have my pivot point, I think my pivot point looks good. Oh, wait, how do you add a pivot point? Uh, yeah. just, just a, the pivot point is just an empty game object. Oh, and then we just place it at the bottom of the pool? Yeah, at the bottom of the pool. So now when you press R, uh, when you press E to rotate, and then you rotate, now this is the this is the um, thing oh. I want. So and then we should just it, put... Wait, so should we create like a parent and a child? Uh, yeah, so the, the both cylinders are going to be a uh, child of the game object. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now on the cylinder we flatten out, this is going to our target. Um, we can uh, add a, uh, a target uh, thing. So uh, let me um, load my target. Wait, can I make the cylinder first? Uh, I'm going to upload it to Google Drive too. That's my Google Drive. Yeah, so I uploaded it to uh, the target I'm using. So just uh, click on the target, and again, make sure it's a Sprite UI 2D. Press Apply, and then my target appears. Uh, then I'm going to put it inside my cylinder. Well, something happened to mine. Fill this out. Zero, zero, zero. Let's put it down. Let's push it out. Like that. Yeah, so this is my target. Wait, where'd you get that PNG? Did you just download uh, it? Yeah, I just downloaded it. It's uh, from my, I, I put it on the Google Drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, on, uh, for this, just make it into UI. So uh, uh, change it from texture to 2D and UI. And then um, drag it into your scene, just like we did with the crosshair and uh, the bullet decal. Uh, and then make it a child of the squished cylinder. So basically your target. And then zero everything out. Once it's zeroed, push it out just a bit, so just the, just the, the UI is showing. So now it's it's gonna look like the UI is painted on top. Well, of the how do you, how did you do that? How did I do what? The target looking like me. I I just said that. <laughs> so I downloaded the target, right? And then make sure it's a UI. Uh, once it's a UI, just click and drag it, just like uh, we did with the decal uh, and the um, and the bullet hole. Um, and then uh, make it a child of the cylinder that's squished. 
and then um, yeah, and then just zero um, everything out and then move it out. Of it. I yes? got one quick question. Also, mm -hmm. I, I when I hit E, I um I was able to rotate, but now I want to switch back. What key is it to switch back? Um, so you use W E R. W is to move, E is to rotate, R is to scale. Uh, Fernando, when I bring in my uh, sprite of my target, it's just a black box, and it says not yeah. yet compressed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So mean. click on your click on your thing, and then just make sure it's a two D UI. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, can you share your screen? Oh uh, yeah. Mine has the same problem. It's just a black box. And it just says compressed or something? Yeah. Uh, what is that? Okay. Let me. Uh... Can you see? Well, just a minute. Yeah, mine is also a black box. Okay. Uh, is it's this your screen? This. Zing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sharing right now. Oh, okay. Uh, did you press apply? Uh. Oh, my oh, word. I'm a there we go. No, I didn't. Come on, guys. <laughs> I got to hit that apply button. <laughs> okay. Yeah, make sure you change it from UI and then press apply. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds. I got to run to the bathroom quickly. I'll be back. Oh, it's still black. Why? Um, whoever's playing that cool math games game in the background, I can hear like this constant ding, 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 ding noise. What? <laughs> Wait, there's, doing that. I can. There's like this. It, it's like it sounds like it reminds me. I forgot the name. Is that of what the ding is from? Yeah, I I don't know, but there's a game on Cool Math Games. It's the exact sound. Cool effect. Math so Games. Oh boy. Cool Math Games was my childhood. Agreed. My thing is still freaking not working. Why? It's still black. <laughs> oh. Are you guys able to rotate the target? I can't rotate it without it, like, be getting weird. I just have to put it onto the... Oh, uh, do you add the, the target hit script to the empty game object at the uh, bottom of the target? Or have we not gotten to that yet? Okay. I'm trying to put it onto the cylinder. I think we're just putting the picture onto the cylinder, and then we're going to see where we go from there. Or, or do we have to, like, color it? I created a decal. <laughs> I mean, I sorry, I created a prefab. Uh. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so once you have this target on... Um, I didn't. Okay, I just get it, and just make sure it's zero, zero, zero on your position. Oh. So it makes it go faster. Wait, where am I looking nope. at? Uh, hold on. What? What? Uh, okay, it has to be a child of a cylinder. So, child. Oh. yeah, not that, the first, uh, yeah. Is it that one? Okay, just make it zero, no. zero, zero. That's not how I did oh. Yeah, what are you doing? Stop. Delete that. How do I delete it? Right click, oh. delete. Yeah. And then, no, no, don't. Okay. Uh, click and drag it into your cylinder. Yeah. And then drag it, make it a child of the cylinder. So click and drag the cylinder. This cylinder or this yeah. cylinder? Um, one? Which one's your target? I think this that one's one. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then zero it out. Press zero, zero, zero on position. Yeah. Zero. Zero, zero. Okay. Now pull it out a bit. Uh, click on the blue arrow and then pull it. Yeah, I like that. And then scale it down. So uh, press R. R. <laughs> uh, click on your target. And uh, press R. Yeah. And then no, no, okay, no. Un oh, I'm click on the white box. It, it, it uniforms. Uh, does it uniformly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, so we have like 10 minutes and we have to write three more uh, scripts. Uh, so there's three scripts. Wait, what? Uh, one of them is what? One, uh, the, those three scripts are no, one of them is long. Um, so I'm just going to four more scripts actually. Hmm. Ooh. 
not yet the three scripts let's see yeah just download them uh and just drag them into your uh, thing i'll Which quickly uh, i'll quickly um <clears throat> go over them they're fairly okay. simple yeah they're, it's just Which uh, one are just they like, are they in the drive uh, yeah they're in or the drive Okay. Is it reset. target reset and then reset box? Wait, what are they called? What are, what are they called? It's target a, reset and then a bunch yeah. of other things. <laughs> yeah, it's called target hit reset button and then reset box. Also, raise love in the background there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So are there are there three scripts or four scripts? Three scripts. There's okay. three scripts. Yeah. Okay. So you should have reset no. box. Reset button and then target hit. I don't need okay. this anymore. So once you have that, um, let's uh, start putting the stuff in the correct place. Um, so just, this, wait, uh, just a minute. Let me drag it into. Uh, um, um, for Nick. Yeah, uh, pasa. So for, uh, for the target thing so i think i might have gone behind a little bit so is there any uh game object for like when it hits and then it falls down or anything uh what like um i think you said something about there being an empty somewhere like it just oh so it can... um it's uh it's supposed to be your um uh what is it called your pivot point so yeah so yeah. make sure you have an empty game object Okay, where do I make it inside of a uh, parent? Uh, just make it out. Just make it outside. Oh, I don't have that. Yeah, okay. just create empty. Create empty. Create yeah. empty. Uh, and just um, make it uh, close to the uh, with the bottom of the of the pole of that the target. Yeah. I put it on the bottom of the target. Yeah, you I could have made it. You, a, you could have made it a, ch a child of the pole and then zeroed it out. <laughs> I noticed the you have. The target, had, the yeah, pole? your cube. Yeah, your cube. Yeah, and then uh, zero it out. Zero, zero, zero on your X, Y, Z. Okay. For the scale, bring, for it, bring it, bring it down. Yeah, bring it out. Yeah, like that. Uh huh. Now drag it out because it's gonna be the parent. I noticed you have like the skinny yeah. pole. That's like the uh, the. <laughs> Um, now drag your cylinder and your cube inside the game object. Cylinder and the cube. It's yeah. Inside the game object. Yeah. Uh huh. And the cube inside the game object. Perfect. Okay. So now uh, click on your game object. <laughs> yeah. So now uh, this is going to be your pivot point. So now rotate. Press uh, E or R. Yeah. And then the, the blue line. Yeah. Click and drag it, and that's how your your uh, your target's going to move. So when you hit it, it's going to go blink, and it's going to fall down. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. So for target hit, which which one which which one do we put it in? Uh, I haven't I haven't told you where to put anything in yet. Oh. So it's kind of a moment. Okay. Uh, okay. So once we have this target, <clears throat> uh, the next thing we're gonna do is one we're going to create a reset button, and this button is basically gonna reset everything back to normal. Uh, second, we're going to create uh, this uh, this thing. It's going to have an animation. That when uh, this thing is hit, this uh, detects a collision. This is gonna go down, and then whenever you press the reset button, it's gonna go back up. Okay. To do this, uh, let's click on your cylinder. <clears throat> okay. And inside your cylinder, <clears throat> make a box uh, box collider. So type in box collider. Uh, wait. We're, uh, we're not doing two uh, D. It's three D only. Box collider. Where is that? I add component and then just type in box. I should uh, add box collider, and then we're gonna add a rigid body, and then this one is important. Turn off gravity, and then turn on is kinematic. Okay. Huh? Rigid body. What is it? So okay, so make sure you have a box collider and a rigid body. Make sure it's set to kinematic only, and remove gravity. Once you have that, add the script called. Um, I don't have that. Target hit. Okay. Now target hit. <clears throat> um, in, so it should be box collider, rigid body, and target hit. Inside target hit, it's requiring an animator. Where is the rigid body? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's uh, it's it's requiring an uh, animator. Oh, we currently don't have an animator. 
<clears throat> so let's add an animator to do this. Um, let's go back to the parent, the game object parent. Uh, let's, of course, let's rename this to target. Not just I don't object. know what you're talking about. Right. Uh, so we're just renaming it. So top on the top right here, uh, rename it to target. Um. Stop it. Okay. So once you have that, we're going to add a component, and we're going to add an animate tour. What is this thing? Oh, what is this thing? What, the animator? No, whatever this thing is. Layout properties. Mm, I don't know what this is. I don't know what you're clicking. Property. I don't know. Um, Am I sharing my screen? Yeah, you're. I can see your screen. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's probably the new Unity version. I, I, don't worry about it. It doesn't do anything. Uh. Is there something I'm missing? Yeah, why do you have a horizontal layout group? What do you mean? Um, what do you mean? Just remove that. You don't need that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that was your problem. You had that thing on. Okay. Um, okay, let's go back. Uh, so, yeah, so click on your main target, uh, the main uh, uh, parent, and just add an a animator. So uh, let me go back to my... Yeah, you have to press add component to add animator. Yeah, yeah. Are so inside sure? our and oh, no just animator. Um, so once we have our animator, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is create an animator and an animation. So the animation is gonna be very wait, simple. Wait, what do we add animator again? Sorry, I couldn't see your screen when you were doing it. Oh no, I just created animator. Uh, oh, it's gonna be on the uh, target. Yeah, it's okay. gonna be just on target. Okay. So on target, um, we're gonna add component. Sorry, no, not going to add Sorry. Um, we're going to add the animator. To add the animator, right click on the gray area, create, and we're going to create an animator controller. Okay. Wait, which gray area? So click, right click on the gray area on the project which folder. Which gray area? Anywhere here on the gray area on the project folder. And create. And then we're going to go to animator controller. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to ask you to name it. Uh, we're going to name this as the well, target. Okay. Target. And then, yeah. And then inside the target, uh, we click on the target again. Uh, and then uh, we go back to the animator. It says controller none. We click and drag the new thing we just created, the target controller. Uh, and then we, uh, we, we add it there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is add the actual animation. So to add the animations, we're going to go to window. General, uh, sorry, animation, and then animation. Okay, make sure Wait, it's animation, what? not animator. Window, window. Animation. Animation. And then animation. Animation. Okay. So once you have that, you should uh, see this uh, window pop up. So just dock it into the right uh, next to the inspector. So just click on the tab, and then uh, you should be able to dock it to the right. Um, okay, and then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do very simple animation. We're gonna click How do you dock it to the right? Uh, you just click and drag it into your, uh, click on the menu bar and then, um, or click the tab. What? Uh, what tab? tab? Okay, look, this is what you're gonna have. Click on the animation tab and then drag it in next to the inspector and it should dock. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking Did you get it? No. Okay, let me see your screen. Okay. No, no, the tab where it says the word animation. Yeah, that's called a tab. Put it next to the inspector. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay. Um, okay, so once you have that, click on create is or just make the the window size bigger on the right and then it says to begin animating target create animation clip just click on create 
Uh, and inside there, we're gonna make our first animation. Uh, I'm just gonna call this title. Click on save. Um, and we're not gonna do anything with this uh, because idle just means it's just gonna stand there. We don't want it to do anything funky, uh, funny. Um, if you wanted to do something funny, you can. Uh, you can do this in your spare time. You can, uh, you know, make it go like this. Make it harder. Uh, funky. Yeah, I said funky. <laughs> uh, you can make it go like this, so your targets are constantly moving. Uh, but in this one, we're just gonna make it still. Okay. Uh, we're gonna create another clip. So just click where it says idle. Click on it again, and then create new clip. And then in that clip, we're gonna cl uh, we're gonna call it down. <clears throat> Ground. Down. Oh. So once you have that animation clip, click on the little red recording icon. It says mm -hmm. enable disable key recording frame mode. Click on it, and then it should turn red. When it turns red, that means it's now recording. So what you're going to do is um, click on, make sure you have target clicked, and then we're going to drag, we're going to click and drag a red line, and we're going to drag it down, pretending it, it got hit. So uh, something like, uh, you can go. You can click on Inspector and then do this uh, if you want it perfect. You can just change what? the number to ninety. <clears throat> what? Change it to ninety, and then uh, that should be your uh, rotated uh, target. Okay. And then once you're done, once once you're done, just uh, click on the red again, and then it disables it. Okay. So now you have down and then idle. So you can switch with both uh, animations. Um, this one goes down, and this one goes to idle, and that's uh, exactly what you want. I don't know what yours means. Okay, let's see what you have. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, can you make your window bigger? Because uh, yeah, you need to fix your, your yes. screen size. Okay, uh, first make your scene, uh, make, make your screen, your right screen bigger. Um, so drag your, um, your thing, yeah, uh -huh, not too big. Yeah, something like that's fine. Okay, um, so now click on Inspector. <clears throat> yeah, and then scroll up. Let's keep scrolling up. Up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. And change your. Wait, why is this a rectangle transform? Yeah, mm. oh, okay, you did this wrong. Um, <clears throat> your target is well, not. I don't apparent. know what you're saying. No, no, no. Your target is not a. Uh, it's not the the pivot point we created. Uh, yeah. So we need to remake this thing. Um, just click on animation, and then um, yeah, stop the anim Yeah, stop the animation. Yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah, I, I have to. Uh, let me see if I can share my uh, my target with you, uh, because yours is not uh, created correctly. Um, uh, Fernando, is yeah, the well, target supposed to go down yet or not? It's not, right? It's not <sighs> supposed to go down yet. No. Uh, okay. To reset your your target, just make sure your your idle. Um, you go back to the idle animation. Okay. Uh, and then someone had a problem. Reese, you had a problem. Uh, yes. Can I share my screen? Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I, uh, yeah, I just, on. I just got an error message and I'm not able to run cause it says it's a compiler error. So it just says, uh, the namespace global namespace already contains a definition for target hit. And, uh, if I were to click on it, well, I mean, I'd have to open visual studios, but it would take me to like my script where, oh, let's show you um it highlights this i'm not sure why i'm not sure oh. what the error means but yeah I okay go to project okay <laughs> okay um you have two target hits you see that yeah yeah mm -hmm. delete delete the one with the parentheses you downloaded it twice oh <laughs> okay thanks and that should fix the problem yeah Okay, uh, and then the last thing we need to do, um, so uh, Benjamin, I'll help you out in a bit, okay? 
um, because we have to backtrack a lot of stuff. Um, so uh, let's go. Um, okay, so once you have your animator ready, uh, double click on your animator. So um, right here, so click on your target and just Thank say you. target. Just double click on it. And then you should uh, come up with this screen. You have idle and down. Right click on the one of them and then uh, right click and it should say, uh, sorry, right click on the gray, uh, an orange one and it says make transition. And then uh, just move your mouse and then make it uh, lock into the other one where it says down. Then right click, make transition back to the idle. Wait, how do oh, you get to that window? Sorry, were you guys able to see my screen? No. Uh, I, I oh. couldn't. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen again. Okay. Um, okay, to go to go to that screen, um, so just double click your target uh, animator controller you made. So down here, you see how I'm highlighting it uh, on the project yeah. folder? Yeah, just double click it and you should see the screen. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, and then there, right click on the orange, on the idle, okay. and then click on the make transition, and then okay. move your mouse, and then make it uh, kind of like dock itself to down. All right. Mm -hmm. And then do the same thing from down to idle. Okay. Okay, so now we're on the same page. Now the next thing we're gonna do is uh, up here on the top left, Make sure it doesn't. It make sure it's click on parameters, not layers. So if it is on layers, just click on parameters on the top left. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna click the little plus button. It says uh, choose to add new parameters, and we're gonna add a bool. Okay. A boolean. Okay. And then the boolean we're gonna add is. Aha! I forgot my boolean. Uh, it's called down, capital D. Okay. So capital D, down. Okay. Once you have that, uh, click on the arrow going down. Okay. So going from idle to down. Yeah. Uh, and then it says conditions, and then there's a plus button. Click on that plus button, and then it says down equals true. So when down oh, is true, yeah. this animation is going to play. Now you click on the other arrow, do the same thing. And down thing, false. And it's going to be false, correct. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So, so now all you need to do, the last thing we need to do to make this work is on your target. <clears throat> uh, sorry, Fernando, where is that? I couldn't see it. Sorry, what was that? What? Uh, the the down condition thing. Oh, oh no, you click on the arrow. Yeah, click on the arrow. Okay. Um, okay, the last thing you need to do is click on your cylinder, the one that has the, the box collider and the rigid body and the target hit. Uh, it says anim and it says none animator. Just click and drag your target, your parent, in there. And then it should say target animator. Wait, the one that's called just the one that's called target into yeah. mm -hmm. anim. Okay. Yeah, your target should just have the animator, and then your right. cylinder should have the uh, target hit. It's not working. So, it's not letting me drag it in to anim. Um, do you have okay? Click on your target. Okay. Uh, does it have the animator? Uh, when it I click on target, it just says uh, in, in inspector, it just says target, and that's it. Well, that's why, but does it say, is this, is it just transform? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Uh, okay, on the inspector, what are the, the stuff uh, that's there? Under under the target anima animation? No, <laughs> on the inspector. Yeah, inspector so, for the target, right? Yeah. Oh, you do you mean the target object or the target yeah. animation? No, the target object. Oh, there's animator. Yeah, okay. So now click on your cylinder, the one that has the box lighter, rigid body, and target hit. So uh -huh. it's the child. Okay, there uh, it says anim and then none. So click and drag its parent in there. Uh, so, okay, look at my screen. Okay. Okay, so this is what you're doing. So this is target, right? So we have oh, yeah. target and then we have transform and then animator. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there, our have, animators. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, our, yeah, ours is called. I still uh, need help. I'm sorry? I still need help. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna get to you, okay? Uh, then we have target, okay? And then on the bottom, we click on this child, the first one, the cylinder. This one has the box collider, rigid body, and then target hit, okay? Oh. And then this one is the anim. It's oh. it's supposed to say none. So what you do is click and drag your parent down here where it says target. So where it says wait. none, sorry. I don't. Oh wait, so we drag target into none? Yeah. Okay. Huh, it's still not letting me. Mm, can you share your screen? Yeah. 
All right, so for the ones that have uh, done it completely uh, correctly, if you get near the target and shoot the target, now it should go. Uh, it should go down. Uh, okay. Can you see my screen? Mm. Okay, um, can you... So uh, I try to drag target into here, but it doesn't work. No, 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 not there. I'll click on your cylinder one. Okay, scroll down. Mm. Yeah, you see where it says none it's animator on? at the bottom? Yeah, oh, you okay. click and drag your target in there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And that should work? Uh, no, your animator is not turned on either. It's not turned on for some reason. Oh. You unchecked it, so stop, stop playing. How do I turn it on? Uh, click on your target. Uh, okay. Okay, and then oh no, it was on. Okay, never mind. It, it was on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it should work. Um, also, for some reason, my bullets are like right way off of it. Yeah, that's what happened to me too. Way off. Yeah, like look at my screen. It isn't. Like, it I doesn't pull, touch the actual oh. target. <laughs> the reason why because I think you guys have a capsule collider, not a, a square uh, rigid. You see how it's the shape is a capsule, it's like a circular. Oh. Ma it's like a mound. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing. Stop playing. Okay, got a cylinder. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, and then uh, you see it says capsule collider. Remove it, and then put a box collider instead. Oh, there was both. Oh yeah, box and capsule. both. Okay, okay. Now there you go. Now press okay. play. Now it should be. Uh, now it should be better. Do you think it should Wait, fall over? Now? So we should remove the capsule collider. Yeah, you need to remove the box. The it's the better, box but it still doesn't fall over though. Yeah. Okay. The reason why it doesn't fall over because the uh, the code is not uh, done yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can uh, I stop sharing? Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see. To make it fine. To finally make it fall over, the last thing is if you go back to Raycast shooting. Hmm. Oh, mine started working, but it's kind of weird. It, it's kind of funny. I shot it, and then it just keeps going up and down. Yeah, because um, your condition, your back condition is probably not set. So go back to the animator. Okay. And then uh, you see the arrow going back up. Make sure the condition is down is false. Oh. Yeah, if you don't have a condition, that means whenever the animation finishes, it's just going to go back. Okay. Okay. So for the last thing for everyone else, um, so go back to your ray, uh, ray cast shooting. Okay, and then the last thing you need to do is you need to enable your... So for the, the ones that downloaded the code, you just have to... Remember the thing we put double slash on? Just remove the double slash. For everyone else, uh, what we need to add is just uh, this object, this, uh, this line. Uh, we're going to say uh, hit dot collider. Just a oh, minute. Sorry. Uh... sorry? All right, so we say target hit, and I'm just going to call it TH. And uh, this one, so we're doing this after add four. So we're going to say hit.collider.gameobject, uh, and then we're going to grab the component called target hit. Okay. Wait, is that um, target hit TH? Is that what it says? Yeah, target hit TH. I called my variable TH as target hit. Okay. Uh, again, for the ones that downloaded this, you just have to uncomment it, and then it should be <coughs> fine. And then finally, we have if TH. If it is th curly braces uh we're gonna do th dot manual hit so now we enable that uh the hit for the for the object so whenever it detects that uh, that hit it's gonna um it's gonna animate so now if i go back does it say th dot normalize mm? no it's manual really oh sorry yeah, it's really blurry for me all right manual hit yeah can you help me yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the last one, and I'll help you out, Benjamin. Okay. So now, uh, when you press play and you go uh, to the game, when you shoot your target, it's going to go down. Okay. Uh, sorry. What was the last piece of code? It said th dot manual hit dot manual hit parentheses. It's a it's a it's a uh, it's function. Uh, when I shot my target, it just repeatedly went up and down really fast. Yeah, okay, so that's the same problem um, Parashar was having. Uh, so go back to your Unity and then okay. open up your, um, uh, animator? your animator. Yeah, and then the arrow going back to idle, make sure you have a condition. Yeah, it says condition down to false. And it's going back up? Yeah. Should I share? 
Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Okay. Okay, so once you guys have that uh, you know, working, you guys can spread those targets, uh, make it into a prefab. So just click and drag your target down uh, on, the, on the project folder, and then just create a bunch of copies, just copy and paste. And then you should be, uh, you can like play target practice with these things. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, can I? And then how do we reset it, like the reset button or whatever? Do we just restart the whole The reset button, uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, th that's fairly simple. All you have to do is create a box, uh, make a, so just make a cube, any cube you want, and then add a, another box collider. Make sure it's a trigger, uh, and just make sure the trigger is right on top of the box. So a trigger acts like, um, uh, so it doesn't have a physical collider. So when it, whenever you're inside, it detects you. So once it you go inside, once it goes inside, it's going to reset all the targets back up. I can't do that by myself. I don't Wait, know sorry, what how do you do it? So I made the cube, and then you add the what? the reset uh, reset. It's called uh, reset button, not reset box. Okay, reset bo button. No, no, yeah, reset button, yeah. Okay. And then add a box collider and make sure it's a collider. Uh, it's, it's a trigger. Okay, uh, let me see, Uzain. Um, okay, look on your arrow. So, see, it's found to false. Uh, okay, click on your other one. Sure. Uh, press play. I want to see your game. Uh, oh, that's what it does. That's interesting. Uh, stop playing. Uh, can you go to your animation tab? No, no, anime. That's animator. Animation tab. Oh. Uh, um, can, you, can I see your animation? Wait, what'd you say? Can I see your animation? Uh, yeah, for idle or down? Uh, for down. <laughs> okay. Uh, make, your, make your screen bigger. Uh, make Unity bigger. Oh, there, there's your problem. You have a, uh, you have animation on this. Uh, scroll out, zoom out. Yeah, um, move your. Uh, I mean, go go back to scene. Um, uh, scene. scene. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, uh, click and drag. Uh, scrub your um, your uh, the timeline, on the top. So just click and drag the little line and scrub it. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? That's the animation that's playing. So it, it should um, only play the rotated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it should only so play that. So I just get rid of these. Just delete the correct. Uh -huh, delete those. Is and that then good? I front. It should like work. That? Yeah. Yeah. Try it out. All right. Yay. All right. Awesome. That's good. Perfect. All right. Um. So for the ones that got it to work, great. Um. Again, you can make this as a target practice. You can uh, create more. Um more things to, you know, you can create animations to make this harder. Um, you can also create a reset button. We didn't get to the reset button, but uh, what you need to do is with all the targets that you have, you need to make one parent, and that parent is going to control all, it's going to have all the targets in there. The same thing with the cubes. The cubes uh, also have another script. It's called reset box, um, and then what that box does is whenever you shoot it, that box just gets out of position, and then step in that button it's going to slowly reset everything back to its original location so um these box these cubes that you uh that we made first the little triangle uh, stuff that i like to make um just i just put in um reset boxes uh, <laughs> reset boxes and it's gonna what reset is that boxes. and the reset box um and then yes. just create a random just create a random cube and then you have the reset button again this is for you to discover you can try to do it uh, we'll go over it next time next week uh if you didn't get to make it work um we're, we're going to continue on this so uh don't throw this project away or don't destroy it we're going to continue on this project i haven't um, done the animation yet okay. yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna do that i'm gonna i'm gonna help you right now okay uh, fernando. all right so can i leave oh yeah uh, so i haven't done the animation either all right thank you fernando thanks fernando of course. So for the ones that finished it and are happy with it, you're free yeah. to go. Uh, for okay. the ones that still need help, uh, I'll I'll be here and help you guys out. Okay. Thanks. Okay. okay. I, I was. 
I'm not able to do the I I uh I wasn't able to do the animation, so the animation? Yeah. Um okay, I'll help you out once I finish with Benjamin, okay? Okay. All right. So let me get to Benjamin. Or who are all saying? Uh I think it's Benjamin <laughs> and uh Reese. Oh, I'm here too. Parasha is oh, there. Parasha is here. All right, Benjamin. Let's see what you uh, do. you want to stop recording? Yeah. The files will be super long.